Hi Virgo, this is Patricia from Cosmic Moon Child Tarot 1111 coming to you today with your new moon reading for June 13th, 2018. So this is a new moon that's happening June 13th in Gemini and it's your reading, okay, uh, Virgo. So I already pre-shuffled the cards and I'm going to start doing your reading right now. Uh, for, um, for all of you that have been here from the beginning, I want to thank you very much for being on my channel and supporting and uh, supporting the channel and also uh, you know offer all your kind words and all the love that you have been giving me so this is for Virgo Sun Moon rising and Venus if uh, if this reading does not resonate with you please check your rising sign your moon sign and your Venus sign to get more answers to what you are looking for so let's go straight for the reading Okay, there we go, and here we go. So right off, we start with the Nine of Fire. The Nine of Fire talks about, um, you know, there's so many meanings to this card. For some, it's about, uh, you know, not letting a lot of people in, like having, like, you're not letting too many people in your life. For others of you, it's all the accomplishments that you've been through. And uh, for all uh, and the accomplishments of like all your all things that you worked hard on, and uh, it says here to to not give up. Okay, for those of you to not give up and protect what you created. They're saying to have courage and, and believe in yourself. So this talks about a lot of self confidence. Okay, what is the challenge in crossing you is a King of Cups. The King of Cups could be a Queen of Cups as well too. Okay. They're asking you to open your heart and mind to those around you. And there's a lot of trustworthy and heartfelt advice from, you know, people with maybe uh, this is like a, a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, um, you know, someone that's very trustworthy, compassionate, respected and cultured. This could also mean that maybe uh, because you're not letting in people in your life, it could also mean that, um, you know, they're asking you to open your heart. OK, and in the recent past, there was a fire energy here for you. Uh, this is a, a Sagittarius, Leo, or um, Aries, and this person uh, could be a queen or a king, okay? This person was very confident, very warm, very intelligent and graceful, very creative as well. But I feel here this is also could also mean that you are holding this characteristic, okay? You're more of a fire energy. Maybe you're a Virgo and your rising sign is Sagittarius or Leo, um, and they're asking you to stretch, to stretch your wings and fly. And don't don't um, don't under, under underestimate yourself. Sorry about that. So they want you to be more independent and be more creative. Okay, and this is in the recent past. So I feel that here some of you probably created something, and they're asking you not to give up, and uh, and you have to protect what you have created so far, right? So what are the messages here for Virgo for this June thirteenth new moon? Yeah, I feel here there's uh, there's a lot of fire energy around you. I feel that also for um, now this is not for all of you, but for some of you, I feel that um, you feel like you're left out in the cold for some of you, uh, or someone like I feel like you're like um, you're not understanding what is happening in a sense of actually there's two cards that stay behind so i want to see what these two cards are i'm sorry okay again i got the nine of wands here twice for you okay virgo so really this talks to me about you protecting what is yours you're not letting anybody in or you're just showing that all like all the rods like where you've been through you know how you how you manage to go through them and that you're still standing this is very good okay i'll put this back into the deck and here i also get i'm getting a three of pentacles this could do with work or you're, um, you know, maybe you're teaching others, expanding, growing. This could be in a relationship as well. Okay. Or, um, and I feel here that you are, you're having fear surrounding money for some of you. And, uh, you know, you maybe to reach out and ask for help if you need the help. Okay. And, uh, something about, uh, you're not sure about your self-employment. It's like, you're not sure you feel like you're left in the dark. There's something that you're not. Maybe you work for a company and they're hiding stuff from you. I feel here there's something that's like a bit off. Okay, I feel that you're too much. Uh, there's too much confusion. Looking too much into the future, as well. 
and not being in the present moment. Okay, I did get this Queen of Wands again. I got it back to back. Okay, uh, this is uh, the recent past. Okay, here in the recent past, it shows me there's a, some there's some kind of unbalance. Okay, off balance going on. Uh, maybe you weren't being so creative. Uh, maybe you didn't feel like it, or you were giving up. Okay, and they're asking you not to give up. What's crowning you is an Aries. Okay, or this could be just uh, it could be also a boss or a father figure. It could be someone that uh, maybe it's a company you work for. They're very like strict, you know. Um, um, I feel that you need to go out there and get advice about this, okay? And in the near future, you have the uh, Page of Pentacles. It's reversed, okay? doesn't mean it's not going to go upright. It's just it's reversed right now. So this new offer, if there is a new offer, it's not coming in right now. And we're going to see why, okay? So we're going to go deeper into the reading and see if I could get something for you over here, okay, um, Virgo. I hope you're all doing well. Don't forget for the new moon to do a new moon ritual. You know, release whatever it is that you don't, uh, that this is that isn't for your higher self. And then write down uh, on the paper what you what your wishes and dreams are in the next 6 to 12 months, okay? Because this full moon in Gemini is very powerful. A new moon, sorry. The new moon in Gemini is very powerful. And there is also a grand trine happening. And Uranus is in uh, Taurus. And that's very good for you, Virgo. So um, I hope, I know maybe you're going to have challenges. But I do see something good coming out of this. So I'm going to ask the question. Why is the Nine of Wands here for Virgo? Why is the Nine of Wands here? Please show me. Why is the Nine of Wands here? Oh, this card wants to come out. I got here another five. Okay, so there is changes coming for you. Positive changes. I feel like you need to learn more about the situation. And you really need to review uh, everyone's, um, you know, motives. Uh, if there is a decision that you have to make, please wait, okay, a bit more. Because uh, I feel that if you go too fast in making the decision, you might regret it. I know, and there's a nine here on the ground. So nine talks about completions as well. Okay. Again, I'm getting another three. Okay, so there's like threes on the ground. I feel that there's going to be a celebration for you. Uh, they're asking you to have more fun in your life. There could be a wedding announcement uh, or a graduation or a birth announcement around you. But there is something, uh, there's a lot, there, there is celebration here. So I feel that you're going to overcome this, okay? Whatever it is that, um, whatever the decision that you have to make. Why is the King of Cups here for Virgo? Why is the King of Cups here for Virgo? Show me why the King of Cups is here for Virgo. I feel there's a new beginning in a home. You did get the Ten of Water. Maybe you're dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. But there's a new beginning in a home here. Uh, a new beginning in emotions as well. Uh, and I, um, it's a contented and rewarding family life. Okay, and your emotional needs and material needs are met. And you do have a lot of trustworthy relationships around you. Why is the Ten of Cups here with the King of Cups? Why is, there, why, is, why is this a challenge for you? Okay, okay, okay. Well, you got the Ace of Swords, and that's a very good card. That means you're cutting through all the stuff. You're cutting through bullshit, people, situations. You're seeing the truth in, in something, okay? You're seeing the truth in something, okay? But it's still, a cha it's, it's still crossing you. It's like a challenge here. And it says that there's you're going to have new, brilliant ideas and inspirations, and... There is going to be a challenging beginning, okay? Maybe the information that you're getting or the seeing the truth in something, it might be challenging, but does not mean that you cannot do it because you do have beautiful cards. The, the, number 10 is being on the right path, a new beginning. There's going to be celebration, okay, uh, for you. Why is the queen of... Maybe you're dealing with someone that has a fire energy, you know, uh, maybe this is a boss. Wow, we've got beautiful cards there for you. Wow. Okay. <laughs> well, okay, this is in the recent past, okay? They say maybe you're dealing with a Leo. Okay, maybe you're dealing with, with a Leo. 
um, but you have the strength to go through this, okay? And uh, you are also feeling better as well. And maybe in the recent, in the past you weren't feeling good, and here it shows me that you are going to regain your strength. You're going to have great inner strength, okay? Um, release harsh judgments, and there's going to be a lot of forgiveness and compassion. I also got the wheel, another 10, okay? So you have two 10s, and two 10s is always about being on the right path and new beginnings happening. And you got the wheel, and this is very good, okay? So the wheel is a completion of learned lessons, and you're, the wheel is going to come forward for you. Of course, it doesn't come in right away. Maybe you start seeing a bit of the of inklings of it, okay? And they're saying it's a, it's a time of positive change, and a situation suddenly moves forward for you. And uh, fortune is on your side. And these cards came out when I asked the question. So you've got three major Akarna cards. That that's a really good, uh, really good, um, off the bat. And you got the lovers card. Okay. Um, and this for me is a divine partnership, or you know, could be a soulmate relationship. But there's someone that's coming in for you. This is like the so same soul print as you. And there's gonna be a lot of intimate relationships. And carefully weigh your decision. Okay, just wait, like, be careful, like, not be careful. <clears throat> what I mean to say is wait, because they're out there, keep showing me here that you have to make a decision, okay? And you are start, starting to see the truth of a situation. Why is the Queen of Wands reversed here in your in your past? It shows me here that uh, you were too, you were always, like, looking too far ahead. You got the Seven of Cups, looking too much ahead, too much confusion, too many options, uh, and you weren't grounded enough and being in the moment, but there is there was an offer of love that came towards you Okay, uh, this could be a cancer Scorpio Pisces could be from family and friends But uh, this is a cup that comes from the divine. Okay, and uh, look at that your Virgo card your Virgo card came out Okay, so you came out in your reading where you took time off to look within yourself from people I feel maybe that you were stuck so much in the pot in the maybe you know so many options too many things going on that you had to retrieve and go within to find the answers why is the Emperor card here for Virgo why is the Emperor card here for Virgo you've got the Sun card this is really beautiful you could be dealing with a Leo as well like I said I feel that there's something that you are gonna become a leader I mean, whatever it is that you're working on creatively, if it is a, a some kind of, a, you know, a job or some kind of financial uh, manner, uh, I feel here that you're going to take leadership and you have the sun shining right behind you. And that these are two powerful cards here right together. Okay, yeah, very beautiful cards and auspicious times are coming for you because you did get the wheel as well. What does that have to do with I feel as the more like with logic and you being willpower, strength, and discipline that you're going to come out on the top. Okay, Virgo, this is what I feel for you at this moment. Okay. I feel here um, that you are creating something. You are creating something new. You or this could also be you. You're pregnant, or you're going to be pregnant. For those of you that are expecting, congratulations. For others of you, you've been through a rebirth and you are going to be, um, you know, um, there's a lot of abundance coming here for you. A lot of abundance and it's right here for you right now. Okay. And you, you know, there was a lot, of, I feel with the page of swords, a lot of people talk about it with being different. I, for what I feel from this card for me is that you cut through everything. Um, you know, um, you say what you mean, you, you mean what you say. And you cut through everything, just like the Ace of Swords, okay? It's like the same kind of feeling. And uh, I again, I got the Queen of Cups here. I got the King of Cups. Maybe this has to do with, uh, you know, uh, let's say you're a Virgo and you have probably a, a Cancer rising or either or, okay? Or, But this is someone that's very intuitive, very kind, very loving into their own. I feel that uh, maybe you were more in the fire energy before, you know, uh, a lot of you have to stand up for yourself and... There was a lot of things you had to go through, and I feel here for uh, that you're going to be more into this kind of energy because you know Venus is in Cancer right now, and Mercury is going to be in Cancer, and the Cancer season is coming soon. So maybe you're going to be more into this gentle soul over here because there is a wedding here. I do see a wedding here for some of you Virgos are getting married, so congratulations as well. So why is the Page of uh, Pentacles reversed here? 
four. Uh, why is it reversed here for? Why is it reversed here for Virgo? The Page of Pentacles. Normally, if something doesn't come in right away, it's always in divine timing, as we know. Okay, I feel this has to do with your work for some reason. I feel that, or something with work, if you do work for a company and people in the past were uh, trying to get away with something, um, but that energy is gone right now. Um, yeah, there's an energy that's gone because look, I have a lot of swords here. Maybe you could, you're could. you also dealing with a air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. I feel here you are, uh, you're going to, it's like I see like you, you have, there's all these swords here and you're, uh, just letting them go and walking towards the light. Um, I feel like your your battles are done. And there is love that's, there's someone that's coming in to bring you love, okay? This could be a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, maybe a bit younger than you. And they're bringing you a cup of love, okay? This is what I see here for you. I'm just going to ask for one more card just to clarify. Because I did get the lover's card for you. Yes, so this could be a Sagittarius you're involved with. You have, a, you or this is you, Virgo, that you cultivated so much patience right now. And um, you cultivated a lot of patience. And, uh, you know, you meditated. Uh, you know yourself. You know your how you feel. Uh, you've been through a lot of transformations here. Uh, this is really beautiful. And uh, I feel, again, there's like a, a I, I, I feel a lot of water energy here. And I'm, there's, you're going to be making, you're going to be getting abundance here. And things are going to look very Things are starting to look very good for you and um, have patience at this time. Just continue being patient and make long-term plans. Now we'll see what the romance angels have to say for you, Virgos, for June 13th, 2015. Uh, 2015. I don't know why I said 2015. That must have been a channel message. So 2018. And also uh, what I want to say is that... Um, the, the energies of this reading is all, when I do a reading on June 13th, it's not just for one day. Just remember that uh, it's uh, for um, it, two to three weeks, okay? It, it They overlap each other. So what are the messages here from the Romance Angel? What are the messages here? They're asking you to keep an open mind, okay? Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. What else are they saying here? Too much cards. Just one. The need to have more fun. The need to flirt. Okay. Extend your lighthearted energy to others as well. Okay. And you see, again, they're showing me playfulness. So uh, to re recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to, of fun to shine. You need to have fun, okay? And a lot of you are calling in a soulmate. You're calling in a soulmate. So your prayers and affirmations uh, will help you bring you both together. This is beautiful. So now we're going to ask the angels here for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for June 13, 2018. What do the angels want to say? to Virgo. You have a beautiful reading, Virgo. I'm very happy for you. It says the situation will improve. Whatever situation you're in, it's going to improve for you. Just keep having faith, okay? They're saying here to get more information. So whatever it is that you're asking, that means that to get more information is really going within yourself, okay? Virgo and uh, and uh, so being a hermit and being within yourself, you're going to get the answers that you need. But you need more information about something. They're saying here, okay, these cards, they're saying here, within the next few weeks, within the next few weeks. So that's very good. And I hope you enjoyed your reading, Virgo, and I'll see you in the full moon uh, for, um, in for the full moon in June, at the end of June. Okay, so take care. Love you. Bye.